Warning. This podcast contains excessive swearing and foul language. It is therefore not suitable to be listened to by small children or at work. You have been warned. Hey, Eddie, is that the first one? No, it's the third one, but they call it the first one. Oh, some yeah. Reason. yeah. Stupid. So, buddy, oh, you know what else, though? What? Fucking Bigfoot never turned up. I was down at the bike sheds and... Fair income? Yeah. Dirty rat. What was his excuse? I don't know. He's fucking, he won't answer his phone. The cunt's ducking me. Oh, see, I told you about Bigfoot's man. Ghosts don't do that to you. Uh, oh, fuck, wait a second. Isn't it fun? Oh, the fucking, it's Bigfoot. Bigfoot? Yeah, put him on loudspeaker. Yeah, go turn it on. All right. Yeah, g'day, cunt. Why didn't you, you didn't turn up, mate? Hey, 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 I, I turned up, mate. Where were you? There's a fucking high at bike sheds. Well, fucking you, you leave dirty. You leaving him hanging at... You didn't say the high bike sheds, mate. You said sandy bike sheds. I was there. 3.30, sandy bike sheds, ready to punch on. Well, we... Ah, uh, fucking... Yeah, likely story, mate. <laughs> Did you leave him hanging, Bigfoot? Hey, hey, is that Gav? Yeah, Bigfoot, how are you, mate? Hey, Gav, mate. How are you, mate? Oh, I'm all right. What have you been doing? You said you'd call me, but you you said you might be busy, what, so... What the oh, fuck? Oh, yeah, I've been, uh, been in training for this so-called fight. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah, you told sandy me that. Sheds, you know? You're fucking... Yeah. You can't mates or something. Bigfoot, yeah, I've known Bigfoot for years, man. But when he was Littlefoot, mate, I've known him since then. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, Gav, Mrs. Bigfoot wants to know when you come around for dinner again, mate. Oh, she knows she can have me snags any night. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 that's my wife you're talking about. But, Damn right uh, yeah. it is, so, mate. Hey, hey, Bigfoot. Good one you got. Fucking, uh, let's organise this. When are we going to do it? Got to fucking hey, sort this hey, out. Hey. Anytime, mate. Anytime. Anytime at 3.30 at the Sandy Bike Sheds. Alright, Sandy Bike Sheds. You know, oh, yeah, wait, wait. Like you said before. We'll meet up at the Seaford RSL, have a few froffies, yeah. and then we'll go have a biff on in the car park. Yeah, how about that? That's how we do it, yeah, I'm not allowed in the Seaford RSL. That bloody donkey behind the counter won't let me in. Oh. <laughs> oh, <mate. laughs> we'll we'll, we'll organise somewhere else then. But right, I'll let you go then, mate. All right, and Bigfoot, yeah, tell the missus I'll be round for dinner again. She cooks a beaut macaroni, and um, yeah, give her a kiss on the cheek for us, mate, and I'll catch you soon. We'll finish that game okay, of pool. I, I won't you... kiss her on the cheek. I don't know if you know this, but the entire body of a Bigfoot is covered in hair, mate. Yeah, it's except mate. for the ball bag. <laughs> I don't want to be coughing up that shit. The only place we don't have hair is our nipples. <laughs> That's what I like, Bigfoot. <laughs> yeah, wow. Well, all right, then I'll meet you there at three thirty. All right. Watch it. All right. At high. Alright, bye. Fucking show up this time. <laughs> Peace out, Bigfoot. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Yo, Eddie. What? Guess what time it is. What time is it? Time for another motherfucking podcast. Yeah, boy. Podcast 11, Legs 11, fucking brought to you by the duo of, do you know who? Who? Game Deficiency, of course. Pod Deficiency 11 here. This is us, kicking back again. Gav. Me. That's fucking little Eddie, as everyone knows. That's the man. I like those Game Deficiency cunts. They say stupid shit all the time. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty funny cunts. Swear a lot. Yeah, well, that's just how it is, man. You know what I mean? Like, do you swear? No. Oh, okay, Too yeah. fucking decent, Gab. <laughs> <laughs> that well, was uh, that was retro Raname was doing the the part of Bigfoot for the thing at the start there. Yep, yeah, good old retro. Give him a bit of credit. Yeah, you're not a bad bloke. Where credit's due. Yep. Yeah. Right, Gav. Yo. Podcast. Yep. Number eleven. We did say that previously, but yeah, we did. Fucking hell. I don't know, that's just how we're rolling. We haven't missed a week yet. We don't put them up, like, every two weeks, but we've, we've recorded one every two weeks. Oh, yeah, da- yeah, of course we do. We always make sure. It's pretty good. It's rad fun, man. I like it. Just talking shit. All right, first topic, Gav. All right, we're getting right into it, mate. Fucking cheat codes. Cheat codes, yeah. Now, oh. they've still got cheat codes and stuff, but yeah, another thing they do these days... Yeah. <clears throat> it's like some games, instead of having the cheat code, you can look it up and stuff. Yeah. They fucking 
they'll sell you they'll sell it for DLC like the infinite lives and, and what, stuff like that yeah shit? you gotta how much you have to pay for that shit I don't know sometimes it's like five bucks or some shit but oh that's fucking whack <clears throat> but back in the day like you I was PC guy so there was, I don't think there was much sort of cheat code things well it's not like it is now now if you want to cheat code like you said yeah fucking buy unlimited lives or ammo or whatever it fucking is or look it up yeah it's got to look it up straight away but back like but back in the day it's like you, you'd write it down and you'd have to because you'd either have have to have a mate that's fucking got a nintendo or a sega mag or you're gonna have to go down and buy the mag and shit it's not like looking it up on the net back in our day mm. but you know back in the day i used to get the odd nintendo magazine and all that sort of shit at times but when i didn't you just go down to the news agent man fucking go through it to, they always had cheat codes in them and you just write them down man and shit you know? <laughs> especially for when um the ps1 came out and street fighter oh uh, yeah yeah came out you know you get all those codes on how to get fucking akuma and how to get you know like on street fighter alpha yeah yeah on alpha yeah exactly and Dark then, Ryu. yeah that's it yeah wasn't there one for the alpha that you had at, at the shop where you worked there was a code where you could get dark Ryu. you had to oh that was an ex machine hold down start and yeah which we we looked that code up at the at the news agent down the road man and they went back to the shop yeah and, and just like <laughs> lucky enough it was in that magazine you know but yeah it, that was for the arcade machine we could get the dark characters yeah and to get to do back say you know still going on the street fighter here the alpha to do the raging demon with akuma or dark ryu you know, that wasn't in the fucking booklet, man. That yeah. th- that code, you know, or that move. I used to be able to do them on that machine, the forward... Yeah, it's like... Forward, forward, heavy punch, light punch or something. Yeah, wasn't it like jab, jab, forward? Yeah, forward, forward. Yeah. Something. But you had to have three levels <coughs> of... Um, you had to have full, full, your max bar thing. Yeah, triple bat max down the bottom. But yeah, man, it was pretty hard back in the day, you know? But then you have your codes, but then you also got codes. That's how games sort of save their progress, wasn't it, on the old Nintendo, like punch oh, out yeah, and when shit, they, you know? When they didn't have, a, a, like, a, a battery in them. Yeah. So that was, like, you had to save codes as well. Yeah, you know, you... As well as cheat codes. Yeah, you know, that's how it was rolling back then. But, yeah, now, look, fucking, I play all my games and, and shit and clock them and shit, you know, and, um... Yeah, I'll look up codes once I've clocked it and shit. I don't ever use codes to help me clock the game itself, mm. you know, but like, you know, like say Mario Karts and that sort of shit, you know, to unlock extra characters or extra cars and shit, which pretty much happens when you play play the game through anyway. But, but you know, and then Grand Theft Auto codes, they were always fucking rad. Yeah. You know, you get a fucking giant chopper, a helicopter, or you get fucking every single gun, unlimited bullets and shit, remember? I remember there was one for um what's called like God Mode for Doom. But I can't remember if that was a code or if it was just the extra like thing you unlocked when you finished it the first time through. Yeah, what was it? But you, you couldn't die and you had all the guns. Really? Yeah. You just could so you just roll straight through the game easy as. Yeah, after you'd finished it though, I think. Yeah, yeah, after you'd finished it. So, yeah, whatever. so you could just run through and shoot the fuck out of everyone. Fuck, they, I'd they, win then. God no. yeah, you'd be able to do it then. I'm shit at those games, <laughs> but you clocked it to have that code, yeah. didn't you? Yeah, yeah, of course. Fuck, well, there you go, eh? So what other games did you used to... Use codes for? Oh, jeez, like, back in the day... Oh, shit, like, um... But then there's also those other codes, that, well, warp zones and stuff, does that count as a code? No, that's, that's in the game. That's just an in-game play type thing. Yeah. But yeah, like, just to get to, you know, get straight to Tyson on fucking Punch-Out and shit, or... But back, yeah, not really used codes until... But then there was that, what's that code, that famous Nintendo code? The Konami code. Yeah, I didn't have Konami, but... But yeah, that's how they, you know, were forward, forward, back up, fucking A, B... <laughs> Spin your controller, kiss it, and do the hokey press, pokey, and then press start, and fucking there you go. I really uh, didn't really use codes a lot till say the PlayStation came, man. You know, mm. then fucking yeah, and then the internet started coming out and shit, and you just you, you want a fucking code, there it is. And you guys used to use it for the basketball to get the like Jordan was never in any yeah. of the basketball games, but they'd put him in there, but you had to. 
you had to put a code in to get it that's yeah. it exactly right or extra uniforms like the nba games you know like 2k every year it's the same fucking codes to get fucking you know the aba ball and fucking every jordan shoe and all because it's, it's the same game gav yeah i know yeah yeah well that's yeah well true but you know get every uniform not like pokemon nah which is different every every single pokemon's completely different yeah, I know, isn't it? They it's not the exact same game for 30 years or 20 years or whatever. No, nah, no, nah, they're, they're smart, man. They always change that game. <laughs> smart as. Yeah. Damn. But yeah, we're watching Bait Car in the background with the mute on. Watching... People baiting in cars. Yep. Terma baiting. And I flog... <laughs> <laughs> they flog cars. The coppers set them up. It's fucking pretty rude. You coppers, they're setting them up and then they're arresting them, you know? Like, don't set them up, it's man. It's entrapment. It is entrapment. How do they get away with it? Because they're the American. Cops. Yeah. Yeah, because they're cops. Motherfucking ain't popping. The dude's trying to open the boot. But anyway, <laughs> this is a pod deficiency, not about bait cars. So, it, is that enough? On you done with the the cheat codes? codes? Yeah, I guess so. I think I say said, yeah. I still use them now, like I said, just to get extra characters and that. If I haven't unlocked it, one's clocking it and shit. But I don't go fucking doing it so I can beat games. So, what are you guys' as cheat codes you remember or ones you still use? Yeah. Is there any good ones that we could use? How did you find your codes back in the day if you were playing like we were back in the old days, fucking Nintendo and Sega, Mega Drive, SNES, all that kind of stuff, you know? Do you, were you guys like rich and had a subscription to a video game magazine or... Or did you roll like us and go down to the fucking news agent and fucking... Steal them. Steal them, you know? Not the magazines, but just write the, the codes <laughs> out from your mags. Yeah, never tax and shit, but... Yeah, I'd, I'd copy the codes down. Damn right. Especially when a, a mate of ours had a job in the news agent. He didn't care. We photocopy the pages, you know? <laughs> it was all good. But yeah, hit us up. Let us know. What do you reckon? I reckon she's a beauty, mate. Wait. What else do you want to talk about? All right. There's this dude in America called Glenn Beck. Haven't heard of him. Doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. But Sorry. This imaginary dude, right? He's got some, like, TV show. He's one of those right-wing guys that says all stupid shit all the time. And like he's, us? No, nah, but he's, like, trying to, like, tell it. Uh, he just says, like, retarded shit. But oh, we don't say retarded stuff. <clears throat> he's fucking... He's always having a go at video games, saying that they're the cause for stuff. Like for, for violence, like the kids shooting up schools and stuff, and yeah, it's of not it's not because they've got guns, it's because they're, uh, you know, it's because of the video games. Yeah, of course. So he's play, he's yeah. like full sponsored by the NRA and shit, so he's oh. trying to you know make everyone think it's video games and not not, not the guns and stuff. But he's um his latest one. Oh God! Just had the the internet video game people having a bit of a laugh and fucking face palming over how fucking stupid he is. This new game, Watch Dogs. Yeah, my brother's got it. Yeah. It's like it's like Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, yeah. But you, but you can hack. Yeah. So Glenn Beck reckons he's never played it. All he knows about it is what he's read off the back of the box or like the, the advert for it, the press release. Yeah. Because it's about hacking. Yeah. So it's it's teaching kids how to hack. Oh, so what? All these kids now, everyone's computers are going to get hacked. Yeah, because they can oh, they okay. can hack into your iPhone and your iPad and your telephone oh, and shit. Really? And listen to you while you're in bed or talking to your wife and shit. That's what Glenn Beck said. So. Oh, really? For a bit of an experiment, because I've been I haven't actually played it. No, I haven't. But I've, but I've been watching. I watched a couple of videos on YouTube. Yeah. So I've seen how they do the hacking in the game. Yeah. So now I'm a hacker. Oh. Going to Glenn Beck. Oh, get me some money, man. Well. I, what we're going to do is a bit of an experiment, right? All right. I'm going to hack your phone. Yeah. Get into your bank account. All right. And I'll just steal like five bucks. All right. So then I'll, I'll just give you five bucks straight back. Well, okay then. Because, yeah, that's all right. Because, you know, just to, to do it. Like, just, so, just to prove a point. Yeah, because yeah. cause Glenn Beck said. All right, well, this Glenn Beck must be right. Yeah, because all, right, all so the killings go. Yeah, you guys can hear. I've got the controller here. He does have a controller. It's a um, PlayStation 3 controller. It's a, I believe the Watch Dogs is on that. Yeah, it is, yeah. There you go. So I'm going to now hack your phone. Yeah. With Because that's how you do it in the game. It's, oh, that's yeah. how you get taught to how do to hack. It. Yeah, because yeah. they're going to teach you how to do it. Yeah. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, so I'm holding down X. Yeah. All right, so. Cool. 
hopefully, yeah, should be hacking your phone. Oh, because that's how you. That's how you do it on the game. Yeah, you hold down X. Ah, oh, you don't okay. have to like know how to work computers or study like programming for years and. Oh, really? No, Nothing like stuff. that. No, you just got to hold down X. So. Oh, right. So there you go. So if you check your phone, yeah, check your bank balance, you should see there'll be a uh, five bucks taken out. Oh, really? So there you go. Yeah. So you could, you guys can use that at home. Yeah. If you've got your controller. Yeah. Or I don't know how you do it on mouse and keyboard on the PC, but you know, just hack people. You can find out stuff about them. Just, yeah. Just hold down the X button. <laughs> That's so easy. Yeah. What a fun. smart guy. No one ever thought of that before. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, all right. Yeah, that proves the point, doesn't it? All these murders and killings and things is because of video games. Yeah. And, the, oh, and all, wow. all the hackings that's going to be going on now. Yeah. It's because of the, uh, the X button. Oh, shit. You know what they could do? What? Take the X button off the controller. Yeah. Problem but solved. No more hacks. Ah, Look at that. fucking too easy. That is so See, easy. What we do here is we create problems and then we solve them. Yeah, exactly. How's that? But what I can't get Eddie is, I, but I've been playing video games since I was fucking a kid, man. Little as you know, the old in television. I haven't killed anybody yet. You haven't been caught for killing anyone yet. Uh a bit different yeah but i'll be hacking people if it's only the x button oh I just, look out just um because this podcast isn't going to come out for a, probably a week or two yeah i just wanted to let you guys know that i did that joke on june the 6th 2014 it's uh, yeah he did it's right there so it's oh. probably you're probably going to see and hear that joke again i'm betting because it's too fucking easy yeah but we did it on this date yeah, I'm just it's so you don't think I'm copying people if it gets done everywhere. Yeah, we're not biters, man. We don't bite. We have crim safe doors. Mm. That's how we roll. But yeah, there you go. Eddie's just <laughs> made you all rich. And if you want to know anything about anybody, your worst enemies, mm. your closest friends. Hit that X button. Fucking X button. You're rocking it, mate. Just don't get caught. All right? Yeah, that's true. Thank Speaking you. Speaking of getting caught... Yeah. How is that? That's a, I think that's the first fucking segue transition we've ever done. Is it? Yeah. It was pretty good too, wasn't it? It was fucking rad. It would have been better if I didn't point it out, but... Yeah, but you're just pointing it out. People would know, but just stating it. Um, well... So the thing yeah. that we're talking about now, mm-hmm. that guy, that fucking idiot who was on the, doing the skit at the start, Retro Renome... Oh, that bloke, yeah. Did a fucking big-ass thing about 80s cartoons like all his favorite 80s cartoon songs right you know how i love that shit like yeah the, fuck the yeah, songs so do and I. stuff and and he um puts it up on youtube yeah gets flagged by every fucking company in the world that, it, that it's had anything to do with those cartoons what the fuck right yeah guess where he got the guess where he got the music from from i don't know youtube Really? <laughs> what? How the fuck does that work? That's what he wants to know. Fucking hell! That's stupid. And there's there's no fucking um, there's no f- um, what is it? Fair use? There's no for review purpose fucking stuff going on. Auto fucking flagging, the the whatever however it works on YouTube. Fucking fucked hell! Him up. That's the sh- that's fucked, man. And that's like um, because when he was over the other um, the other week. Mm. We showed him the proper version of the John Williams song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we got and flagged. Like we were fucking spewing when oh, that happened. Yeah, that that was such a that was one of our best jokes, man. Yeah, and um and the thing about that one was because we I was trying to show someone on my phone because I was here. Yeah, Gav's house where he's the, got didn't even have Foxtel then. I don't think. Didn't I? No, that was, that was ages ago. Jeez, oh, how did I survive? I don't know. You didn't have the internet or Fox, so you must oh. have been poor back then. Yeah, I still am, but... But um, I, was trying to, I think I was trying to show you or something, and it didn't come up. Mm-hmm. And we couldn't figure out why it was, and I had to wait till I went home, like, like later on to uh, to check it. So we got copyright flagged for using one minute or one, one chorus. Yeah. Of that fucking stupid song. And look, and that song, what is that song about being Australian, isn't it? Yeah. Like being an Aussie. An Aussie steal stuff. Yeah, that's right. That's how we came here <laughs> as convicts, convicts for stealing bread. Didn't we? But yeah, that you know, we... Oh, Aussies, we were using that song where Aussies... It's, we thought 
that was a great thing, you know. We're Aussies, we love that song, fucking, you know. And they do that to us, get far and mate. And we got that, um, we did that update and we did the the Mario game. What one was it? Super Mario 3D World. Oh, that's right, yeah. We put that up. Yeah. It was barely, because the, the recording fucked up, the, the, you could barely hear the music in the background. Yeah. That got flagged by Nintendo. Fucking hell, but man. But they didn't say to take it down because we weren't, um... Making money or yeah, something? Yeah, we weren't, we, we're not a, we're not partnered, so we're not making any money of it, so they couldn't take any of our money, so they, it was just like, just so, so you guys know that we know that you using our shit. Well, why? you can keep it up. But, but we bought their fucking shit. Yeah. <laughs> we paid full price for that shit, and we're... It's, but it's like advertisement for them as well. Like somebody might think, oh, that game, fuck, I don't know about it. But then they watched our update and go, fuck, man, that game looks rad. I'm going out to buy it. It's free advertisement, Ed. Yeah. But there's also the argument that when you play a game, it's different every time. And the reason why people are watching it mm-hmm. is to see the person play it. Yeah. So it's a, it's transformative. It's like if we did a... If we bought... um like some costumes from the costume shop and did a did a skit. Yeah. And then they said, oh, no, you can't use those costumes on YouTube. That's ours. But we bought the costume. Yeah, and then we, we used them, you know, for something different. Yeah. So the, but that's, that's another, that's what people are arguing about. Like, you shouldn't be able to, the people that make the videos should be able to have money for it because it's like if you just left the game on, yeah, nothing's going to happen. Of course it's not. It needs a person to, to move, it. move the controllers around. Yeah. So that's why it's it's not it's not like a movie that you just if you left it on, it's gonna play the same way through every time. Yeah, no, the game's different. Yeah, and it's a completely different thing. Well, it's fucked. But um, what? Good old Nintendo. Yeah. In their inter- infinite wisdom. Yeah. Have said we're not. Um, taking all your money now. Oh. That's what they used to do. Is if they they copyright flagged you, so you can keep the um, the video up. We're just taking all the money. For some reason, YouTube let them. YouTube thought that would be a good idea to let them do that. But but the eighty dollars you pay for the game wasn't enough money for them. No, and the free advertising they're getting. Yeah, exactly. Which they barely fucking advertise anyway. Yes. Yeah. But now they're saying we're just going to take a bit. I don't need to it's, take anything, man. Gonna, but that's nice of them, isn't it? Instead of taking it all, now you can have most of it. They just want a little bit. They just bit. want a little bit, yeah, because they need money, do they? Yeah. Fucking, I, we, we, we just bought fucking Mario Kart 8. Fucking, mm. what was it, 70 bucks or something? Something, yeah. They get the money for that, man, or whatever percentage they get from they selling it. They get a it. bit of it. Yeah, they get what they want for it, because when they sell it to the shop, and then if I want to fucking play it up or something, they're going to cut me off, are they? Or they're going to want some of my money. Yeah. I'll get fucked. I'd right. tell them I paid them $70 for the game already. <coughs> See you later. Yeah. You know, and, all right. So what happens, like, you buy clothing and shit, man. You know what I mean? Mm. You, you can go out and buy Mario t-shirts and shit. Yeah. But what? You're not allowed to wear them. I don't know. You know? On TV. Oh, you can't wear them on not. TV. So you can't even wear your own shit that you want to wear that you paid money for on on TV. That's fucking shit. <laughs> I do like Nintendo still, but yeah, fuck. They, they, they don't understand the internet at all. No, nah, no, nah, because they, they don't make enough money, do they, yet? Well, not at the moment, but they've, they've got enough. Yeah, fucking hell. Oh, Mario Kart 8. Yeah. Fucking in England. Yes. In the UK. In the Ark. Yeah. <laughs> the um, sales of Wii U's yeah. went up 666%. Because of Mario Kart 8? Yeah. Fuck, man. It's the number of the beast, Gav. That's... Yeah, it is, isn't it? Is Mario is Mario the devil, do you think, in England? I don't know, maybe. Do you think he's the devil here? I don't know. But he's in England? Maybe. Do you reckon? Well... You scared? Yeah. Say his name three times, see if he appears. No. Nah. Why not? Because I don't want to get eaten by Mario. Or fireballed or whatever happens. What if he jumps on your head? Oh, that'll hurt. <laughs> It'll make a cool noise, though. Yeah, it go, doing! <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it? Yeah. Use a bit of dead old foam afterwards, and she's just right. So now let's get stuck into the uh, 
the letdown portion of the podcast. Yep, what's that? It's a... Uh, Gav, have you finished a game? No. Nope. Oh, well, so that's that bit. No, no, no. I didn't finish a game, man. Oh. I finished two games. What the fuck? Finished two games. Fucking hell. <sighs> you have your weedies this fortnight, mate. Oh, just in the mood, you know what I mean? Finally finished that Thundercats on the DS. Oh, there you go. Had to get past this dude, man, and he just kept r- killing me. And I, and I couldn't use... I'd run. It doesn't give you enough sword to power things to press and get extra life because you can call that um whether their name's kitty and cat or something yeah wily kit and wily cat yeah you can call them out and they dance around and give you like life and shit mm. like you don't need extra powers to beat him up you can beat him but you just run out of life but yeah anyway so beat him um mumra was on the next level after i got through that and mumra was pretty easy man mm. once again like another game the boss at the end, it was easier than that dude that took me like a week to beat. Yeah. You know, well, more than a week, but I played it like about a week's worth. They should just fucking finish the games after the second last boss. Yeah, but Mumra was easy, clocked him, bang, you know what I mean? There's Thundercats done. Another notch up. And also, I uh, picked up um, Injustice on the Wii U. Mm. It was only 15 bucks at the EB sale. and um, Bargain. Pre- yeah, bargain, man. So... Got home and, you know, had to get dinner ready and, and bar them, all that sort of stuff, get ready for school and that. So anyway, so I thought I'll, I'll do all that and then I'll give the game a crack. So I laid the game on after doing everything I had to do. And Ems comes out, starts playing it. So I thought I'll play it tomorrow. I got the day off. So he turned it on, Ed, just beat it in one session. It's just like a, you know what it is. You've yeah. got it anyway. You know what I mean? Got it on, so, the, on the Vita. Yeah. <laughs> But it wasn't like a hard game or anything, you know, mm. like, and, and everyone's moves was the same, you know, like fireball and fucking punch and same with flash and same with Superman and do that, their special moves, you know, everybody in that, but mm. it was still pretty cool, man. You know, like fucking a lot of those characters are pretty tough. Wonder Woman's fucking tough with her whip. It's yeah. a rope. A so. rope then. She's good with lasso. Mm. Yeah. Well, she's really good with that. Let me tell you that. But yeah, anyway, so I beat those two games. So if, believe it or not. It's the first time in fucking... 11 must... fucking 10 episodes or 11 episodes, whatever. Yeah. Casts, whatever they're called. What about you? Did you beat anything? I did. I beat um fucking yeah. Deadpool on the PC. Ah, rad. Yeah. That's a rad game, man. That is. That's a lot of fun. It's really fu- Like, it's heaps funny. And it and they had the same thing, the second last boss, which was a repeat fight of... I think I think they were the first bosses. Yeah, but heaps tougher and, they, and shit. Yeah, apparently, but it took me because I hadn't played it for fucking months. Yeah. So it took me a little while to to figure out their um their pattern. Yeah. And then the the last boss was fucking real simple. Yeah, no worries there, huh? Yeah. Yeah, there you go, like then, Thundercats, man. I I won't spoil it, but then there's a joke at the end, which is fucking to be expected from that game because it's just. Full of jokes. It's a cool yeah. game, man. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. And who was the boss at the end then? It's um, it's Mister Sinister. Oh. On the X Men. Oh right. Yeah. And you gave him a fucking ass whooping, didn't you? I smashed him. Fucking ace, you did. GD styles, right there, guys. So anyway, we both beat games. There you go. Yeah. So. You can't say we don't beat games. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we get there. And fucking um, don't expect any for the next podcast because we probably won't. No, we'll probably not, but. We've got Mario Kart 8 now. Mm. We'll fucking beat that. It'll unlock everything that needs to be unlocked, whatever the case. And a rad game, may I say, Ed. Oh, yeah. Wasn't it? And it fucking um, runs at 1080p. 1080p, 60 frames per second. Yep. Fucking Just like um, Watch Dogs does on the oh. other con- Oh, actually, no, it doesn't because they can't get the other consoles to run at, six, at 60 frames per second. Can't they? No. They fucking way more powerful and all that bullshit but yeah and but they the, don't play it that poor little the poor little Wii U is the only one that can get their games to run fucking 60 frames per second are you serious yeah are ya yeah fucking hell see we're rocking Mario in that styles mate and you know what was rad what was rad Gav? We, we went down and we got it right Our, remember this you were here was I there yeah you were there so, and it's <laughs> true it's real because I was there too so you've heard about it you heard about it so anyway come back and we're like rad we're gonna play this fucking oh, yeah. Mario Kart 8 aren't we <laughs> yeah right what do we do we turn it on chuck it in just start playing straight away yep or did we 
You'd think you would, wouldn't you? Yeah. But what happened? Tell them what happened, Eddie. We had a, had to update itself for fucking half an hour. Fucking oath it did. <laughs> to every fucking... Everything in the this current generation. It's the next generation. You can't fucking play anything straight out the box. Nah. You can't play... You can't take your console home, plug it in and fucking chuck a game in. No, well, you can't. you got to stick it on the internet for fucking four hours for it to download yeah. itself. Which... Fuck yeah, that's right, man. Uh, yeah, but yeah, you know, I actually prefer it because like you, we put it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to put your groceries away. Yeah, and, yeah. You were making yourself a bit of lunch yeah, too. Yeah, I had some fucking had a bit of grub. Yeah, you know. some tucker in his guts. Yeah, so it's 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 better to have to wait for fucking half an hour. Yeah. to be able to play a game you just bought. Yeah, exactly. Because like, you weren't hanging the plate or anything. No, no, I didn't expect to play it straight away. Come home and put it in. You, yeah. you don't expect that anymore. You know. Yeah, I. I kind of sick of like getting a NES cart and chucking it in the Nintendo and being able to play it yeah like straight away yeah, or yeah. like you get a you get a nice PlayStation 1 or 2 game or a PlayStation 3 I know PlayStation 3 was pretty bad for it too but yeah you have to update a bit PlayStation 3 game you know you chuck it in fucking then you have to play it straight away you want to you want to fuck around for an hour or two yeah, before you can of course play the son of a bitch that's what you do you don't buy a game and just want to play it straight away do you no 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 way but yeah, that's what happened. Fucking updated for ages, man, didn't it? And it was good because it stayed on 99% for about 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it did too, yeah. So you didn't have to rush in. <laughs> like, oh, Gavin's at 99%. <laughs> oh, no, wait, you're right. <laughs> yeah, it'll be 10 minutes. Yeah, just <laughs> give it a minute. Or oh, 10. Yeah, but that's what happened. That was pretty fucking shit, man. Mm. Yeah, you can't just put a, a disc in and just fucking... I can't play it. Nah. You don't buy games to play them anyway. Nah. You want, yeah, not straight away. No. You just want to put them on the shelf and look at them. That's right. You know, while it updates for half an hour. That's what video games are all about. But after all that fucking waiting half an hour and shit, it was, it's a rad game, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it looks nice too. Yeah, running at 1080p. Beautiful 1080p. Yep. So smooth, 60 frames a second. Yeah, it's rad, isn't it? It's almost as good as a PC. Uh, see, that's just how we roll around here. Yeah, the fucking Wii U, the powerhouse of this generation. Yep, but you gotta give them a chance. The the other poor little PS4 and the Xbox One, which is the third one. Yeah, not the first one. They'll give them a year or two, and the the programmers will be able to figure it out. Oh yeah, well that's all right. We can play the Wii U till then, man. Yeah. Can't we? You know, there's a few games coming out. Donkey Kong came out. Oh, you gotta wait for there to be a game to play on the PlayStation Four and the yeah the Xbox One. Oh fucking shit! Even though, but Nintendo's dying anyway because yeah. The um, people on the internet are intelligent. Yeah, that's it. No, well, they, they, you can, they prove they're dying, man. They have to take a portion of your shit you put up on YouTube, you know? Yeah, they need it. Yeah, obviously. You've got to take some if they're dying. So they don't have any money. Nah, no way. Not Nintendo, man. <laughs> no way. Mario must be, bring nothing in for him anymore. No. So, Gav, this is um, a new trend... Oh, I don't do trends, but go on. On the on the PC. Yeah, I don't do PCs either. Because you pretty you pretty much you, you download everything on the PC now. You don't buy the the discs anymore yeah. and shit. Yeah, yeah, oh, you do that. Well, all you the don't time. have to now. Yeah, well, you never do. No, not really. I uh, can buy a couple, but the those Steam sales, man, they, it ends up being cheaper most of the time to just wait for the Steam sale. But and then you got it straight away too. Well, you have to download it, but. Yeah. Do you have to update it when you download it? It does for about a couple of minutes the first oh, time you play it. But not half an hour. No. Oh, then it must suck for you, man. But some, like a big game can take three, four hours to download sometimes. Oh, really? Yeah, so you get that waiting period, so that's all right. So, yeah, yeah, that's all right. You don't have to play it straight away. You can't just no. buy it and play it, so no. it's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're used to that, but carry on. But the, um, so what they're doing now is called Early Access. Yeah. And to try and like it's for indie studios that don't have much money yeah they like put Nintendo out, yeah they put out the game yeah. unfinished okay and you can help them like give them feedback on the game but you've got to pay some money to get into the early access and what yeah what so you have to pay them to tell them how to finish their own game no to tell them if it, where the bugs are and if they could do something better and in the old days the, the beta testing yeah they'd um they'd pay you to do it or they'd, you'd, like, they'd give you the game for free to do it but now you have to pay for it. 
Jeez. But Gav. What? I fucking... I what? bought an early access game. Yeah, you did your hacking up with the X button? No, I should have fuck. You fool. You could have got, got it for free. But anyway, you bought one. This was probably before you, you knew about this Glenn Beck fuck with. Yeah. I wasn't thinking straight. No. Nah. But anyway, yeah, go on. It's called The Stomping Land. Yeah. And it's fucking... It's got dinosaurs in it. I saw the dinosaurs. Oh, you love dinosaurs. I bought it. I couldn't help it. Yeah, how much was it? 30 bucks. Is that good? If the game comes out and it's 60 bucks, it will be. So you've got the game, the full game now that you paid 30 for it? Yeah, but they, they've barely started making it, though. Yeah, so... so it's a piece of shit, but... Oh. But the thing is, though... Yeah. But what it is... Yeah. It's a, like an open world survival crafting game. Yeah. So you've just got to, like, you just dropped in a spot. Yep. And you've got to make all your own weapons and house. And it's kind of like Minecraft. You've got to yeah, make all everything. your own shit. And then just live, like, not die. Oh, okay. You just got to survive. But dinosaurs. Yeah. In it. You can't be a dinosaur. No, you're a dude. Yeah. Yeah. But on, on the trailer, there's all these these dudes with torches chasing dinosaurs through the forest at night yeah I saw that and I was like fucking sold yeah for you it would be got suckered in by the trailer but um it's a piece of shit runs like shit the fucking crafting's <laughs> boring as fuck <laughs> but I got bored of making all the like four things you can make yeah that I could figure out how to make and I ran off into the forest and it got it turned into night time yeah so I built a torch run around with the torch looking for dinosaurs and shit yeah. Fell down a like a little embankment yeah. into a creek. Yeah. Turned my torch out. I go up the up the other side of the embankment. Yeah. It's fucking pitch black. You can see on the horizon there's like a like a you know, you can see over a ridge there's like the moonlight shining. Yeah. And you hear this boom boom. Yeah. Fucking it's like what the fuck? Was it Bigfoot? No. Nah. And there's fucking big like the big carnivorous dinosaur i never haven't seen one up to that point yeah runs right in front of me he's chasing oh, another damn. dinosaur yeah and they could hear him fighting and shit and then like i stayed there till the couldn't hear the big one anymore yeah and then i went over and the, the both of them were, were dead like there was an ankylosaur and a and a big um carnotaur yeah that was fucking it was so rad like it's shit like that like, even in a shitty, unfinished game... Yeah. That kind of experience... Like, you... Just for that second, you're fucking there... Yeah. And it's pitch dark. I fucking I hit the deck, like... It made my character, like, lay down so they couldn't see me. Yeah. And it's just, like... That's why video games are so much fucking better than... Like, anything... Just for that kind of experience, like... That... That... Second when you're... You're just in the fucking moment. Yeah, fuck. That was Ripper, so that was almost worth 30 bucks. But What's a game called? Te the Let Stomping Land. Oh, that's right. You did say that. It, yeah. yeah, you did. Yeah, fuck. That's pretty rad. You, he loves dinosaurs, this dude, man. And uh, and there's the other one that I bought. The, I bought a spaceship for Star Citizen. Oh, yeah? Which is... That's that game. Yeah, I know that game. Yeah, it's like the guys that made Wing Commander. Mm. And they that went into the... Um, they finally put the thing out so you can actually fly your spaceship now. Oh, rad. Doesn't work. Oh. Doesn't work it? for me anyway. It works oh. for some people, but I couldn't get into it. Because they kept saying connection lost. Fuck. Took I fucking like 12 it's... hours to download the... The ship? No, the, the bit, the, the um, dogfighting module. Yeah. And then I couldn't play it. Oh, that's disappointing. But uh, hopefully it works, because everybody's be hammering the servers. Yeah. Trying to play it. Sussing it, it, yeah. Been waiting for fucking yonks for him to make it so we can play the fucking thing. But oh, man. But yeah. that's cool. The dinosaur one sounds pretty rad. Yeah. You'll have to show it to me. It'll be sick when they um finish it. Yeah. <laughs> Just start adding stuff. And I've seen four, yeah, four different dinosaurs so far. Yeah. There's right. the ankylosaur and the, and the big carnivore. And there's a, there's a headbutt one. Oh, with a big old horn on it. Fucking... It's got like old bones. Oh, rad. Off the front of its head. And it, but it headbutts you when it sees you. Or if you rad. get too close and it kills you. Oh, I don't want to die. But you can shoot it. You can make a bow and arrow and shoot it. Hey, eat shit, mate. And then you eat them. Yeah. I'm... Yeah. And then there's another one that looks like an ostrich. Oh, <laughs> Aussie. 
Ozzy Ostrich. So, Mr. Gavin no, that's from what, Game Deficiency. Yeah, that's the one and only, the only one. <laughs> Have you got a got a um, Gav Reckons for the for the good listeners? A Gav Reckons? Not a Gav Reckons. A Gav's a cheapo. Gav's look, I don't know because I hope these people are benefiting from this segment of the podcast. I'll tell you, I'll just no, you go. Yeah, uh, they are. They are. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> they love it. All right then. I think Gun Gundam Russ likes it. Gun. Oh, good on you, Russ. Oh. Even if he doesn't, I'm going to say you do, Rusty. Thanks, mate. So you're a good man. Yeah. Loves his PlayStation. He is. Well, another one is. Well, I work in. Um, brothel. Yeah. I work in a brothel and we, get, <laughs> and we get a lot of mail, right? Customers. Yeah, customers. No, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't work in a brothel anymore. <laughs> no, I never have. But anyway, yeah. And like we get a lot of mail and stuff. It's not a post office, but I work like in the field of caring. I don't want to let people know what I am because it's just the way I am. But anyway, yeah. So you get a lot of mail and stuff, a lot of envelopes, all that kind of shit. You know what you do, right? You use the mail, and the, the mail's the most important part. The envelope's just the hold it in and get it there with your name and on it and all that kind of shit. But you check the stamps, man. If the stamp hasn't been stamped, right, you can reuse that stamp again. You know, what do you reckon, Ed? That's a good 55 cents you're saving there, man, every time. And I do get stamps, and that's how I send my posts off. Ripper. Yeah. That's save. Look, look, that's just a thing. Like, that's just wiseness, you know? Yeah. It's like every two stamps, that's over a buck saved. Exactly. And you never have to buy stamps. You just put them in, in a little box in the drawer. And, oh, yeah, I need to send a letter. Bang, there's your stamp. Look, it's not sticky anymore. Mm. But Eddie's here. He always makes it sticky for me. I'm good at that. He is. He's good with super glue. <laughs> And yeah, well, that's that's me gave cheapo segment. That's a good. That's uh, it is still st- no. It's not stealing because they throw them out, don't they? Yeah. So look, I'm not doing. It's a, a used envelope. It's a used envelope. Look, it's not my fault they didn't stamp the fucking thing mm. afterwards. Like from whatever post office it went to or didn't go to or whatever. The- I think stamps are supposed to be used as able to be used as currency too. Really? What do you mean by that? As money. Really? So I can go into a shop with ten stamps. Yeah. And buy some chips and dim sims. You should be, but I don't think they'll take it. I'm going to tell them you told me I can. <laughs> they'll tell you to go get fucked. No, I'll still tell them. Come back with money, you can't. Currency. <laughs> <laughs> this is currency, mate. I want me chips. <clears throat> so, Gav, here's a topic. No, oh, throw it at me. This is a thing, and you, you guys listening might be able to relate to this in some ways. But... When you start collecting, yeah. Like when we got that first Ness, yeah. And we you just buy anything, and then yeah, like we we started. So we we're, we're collecting video games now. Yeah, we were thinking so. Yeah. Anything cheap, we saw it. We'd fucking just buy it. Yeah, of course just we could. Getting anything, wherever we, whatever we find, fucking snap it up. Yeah, we yeah that's how we find bargains and stuff. Yeah. Then we started the show. We did. So we've got to have stuff to show for the, the show. For the episodes. Certainly. Buying more stuff. Certainly. And now we've got fucking heaps. Fair whack of, of games. Oh, we've got heaps of shit now, man. Fucking heaps. Epic Tales gave us his whole collection. And that was a fucking. That's a good enough collection in well, itself. Well, what was it like over a hundred games and shit? Yeah. Fucking eight or nine consoles. Yeah. Full fucking collection he's been collecting for years. Hmm. So that's rad. And then, um, but you get to a point, and it's like you're just collecting for the sake of collecting. Yeah, you just after a while. Well, like, that's true. Yeah. And at, at what point do you say? Well, this is at the point I'm at now. It's like I don't want to buy a game unless I think I'm going to play because we've got a lot of games. Yeah. That we're probably never going to play. Oh, fucking got heaps of games we won't play. And what do you do with them? Should should you sell them off or? But do you still want them so it looks rad on your shelf and stuff? Like, well, I'd still keep them. I would. When we were going through the the PlayStation Two games, mm. 
We've got fucking heaps of those. Yeah, I didn't know we had as many as we, we do. We just pick one up here, pick one up there. Yeah, always, man. Just buy a couple. You know, there's been sales down at Cashies, you know, you get five, yeah. like, ten bucks, you know. And then you, you go, oh, fucking, that one looks rad, I'll play that. And you get them because you want to fucking play them, but then you, yeah. you chuck them in your thing. And then you can't fucking, um, you can't remember which one it was. And then you, yeah. <laughs> then you got to get the PlayStation 2 out. It might be in the cupboard or whatever. Yeah. You never get around to playing them. The new one Snag's got that box of like 20 Mega Drive carts. Oh, yeah, from the market, yeah. Yeah, and they're all sports titles. Yeah, ice hockey and fucking heaps of soccer ones, man. Yeah. Heaps. Yeah, I won't play them. But that's fucking, that's a dollar a cart. Like, you know. Yeah, that's, it was a bargain. That's why we got it, you know? Yeah. Because, yeah, it was a bargain. Like, you would have bought it too, wouldn't you? Fucking oath, I would have. Yeah, but see, it doesn't change the fact that we still wouldn't play it, does it? Yeah. Yeah, but it's that, that's it. So we've bought them because, one, it was a bargain, and two, it does look rad to have more carts than you yeah, wouldn't play, I guess. I don't know. Mm. Looks good. That's my opinion anyway, you know? But then, what, like, t- today when we were at the shops, yeah. I bought what's it called? Sid Meier's Pirates. And who's Sid Meier? He's a video game maker. Oh, okay. And I, this, like, I've heard a lot of stuff about this supposed to be a really good game, but this says it's based on the hit game. So it's a, it's, a, it's a port to the PSP. Yeah. And I've, you know, I got it. It's four bucks. Yeah, bargain, man. Snapped it up. Doesn't have a manual, but... He's, yeah, but he, it's, this is a game he will play. I want to play it. I don't know if I will, though, if I ever get around to it, but I've got it. But it's got the nice clear... The UMD's got the clear thing instead of white. Yeah, that looks right. It's pretty tough. Yeah. But, like... Yeah, it's a, it's a thing like what he said on one of his videos or something or a podcast or something that you go out hunting, you grab a game, mm-hmm. put it in his, like on his shelf, put it nice in order how he likes to put them. Mm-hmm. Then he'll go do something, come back the next day, so I'll have a crack at that game. Mm-hmm. Then look at the shelf and go, I've got no fucking idea which one it is. It's just <laughs> yeah. it's melted into the crowd. <laughs> yeah. As that sounds like kind of like it, like a it's it's a first world problem like having too many video games, but yeah, it's never a problem. Mm. But yeah, like yeah, will you play them? Do you guys do that? Do you just buy games because they're a bargain? Probably I do. Yeah, and yeah, just to boost the collection, I guess. But there's certain games like your um, your NES games and the. His SNES games, like all the, I think the the cartridge games. Yeah. If you see a cartridge for cheap, you're gonna buy it. Yeah, damn right, always, man. Sega and Nintendo. Always, but not Atari. just. Yeah, but look, I go to markets and shit, man. You know, we go to markets, not just me. We do, and um, you know, they sometimes have the odd PS3 or Xbox 360 game there. You know, maybe one or two of them in their store amongst heaps of other stuff and you can buy them you get them for two bucks you know yeah they're just like oh that's two bucks and and yeah that's when you get titles that you really wouldn't play but i buy it for, for two bucks you know you're gonna pay for it aren't you yeah you know so i bought a couple of games i wouldn't play but and i bought from jb hi-fi brand new all wrapped up ps3 like i don't know it's like a fucking you can tell if you're lying or something game like a sexy lying game or something it was 99 <laughs> cents you know what i mean oh, like, yeah, a would, would never play you need the wee motion thingies or something to do it keep it wrapped up it would be worth fucking millions of dollars in oh years. yeah the worst game released on playstation 3 yeah <laughs> but if but if it's really bad then no one will buy it and then it'll be rare yeah oh you never thought of that and then ebay oh i'm gonna put i could put thousands on it on yeah. ebay everyone else does i might as well and then you'll be rich. Yeah, I don't want to put a reasonable price. No. What, what did you show me today, man? Oh, they've already put that thing on, on their Facebooks with the... Look, was that on Gumtree? That, yeah, it looked like a Gumtree ad. Yeah, there's um, Spongebob and... Narnia. Spongebob drawn to life. And it, yeah, the Tales of Narnia game on, on the DS. Yeah. With the manuals, mind you. Yeah, they, yeah, they did have manuals. The photo showed them. Two grand. Yeah. That's it. Two of the rarest games bargain. ever. Yep. And we were like, we saw a bargain after seeing that. We were down at Cashies mm. and fucking, 
There's SpongeBob drawn to life boxed booklet three bucks on DS. Fucking should have snapped it up. No, uh, yeah, I know, but you got the box for free. Yeah, Andy. that's right. Yeah, we just need so the that card was a bargain. For it. That's got to be worth about at least five hundred bucks. Oh yeah, just for the box. Oh, sometimes a box is worth more. You know. Yeah, well, they're harder to get because they don't come with the boxes when you buy them. Nah, no, they you have don't. To buy them after. Yeah, that's right. So it makes it harder, but. Rare. Yeah, two grand. What's the cunt thinking, man? Must have been drunk or asleep when we'll just trying to type in two bucks. And we'll just fucked in the fell, head. Fell asleep on the zero key something. Yeah, like if it was two bucks each. Like if they, um, to benefit of the doubt, to typo, were they asking what they were trying to ask for 200? And an extra zero popped up. Yeah. Because well, that, that's fucking stupid. Yeah, that that sounds more logical. It's easier to accidentally do one zero than three. How about they were trying to type in twenty bucks? Yeah, that's uh, still fucking way too much for two, like five bucks at the most. Yeah, exactly. For, fucking for those two, two shit games. games anyway that are always cheap at the pawn shops because no cunt wants them. Did they? Whichever way you cut it, the person's fucking idiot yeah even if the carts were made in pure gold it's still not worth that much oh they're they're quite pricey though the pure gold ones <laughs> yeah i know but <laughs> heavy too <laughs> and the ds doesn't like them too much yeah does it yeah what a fucking nutcase <laughs> i hope woody sent the kind of fucking message asking what the fuck happened do that woody send the kind of message and say yeah how did you get two grand on this <laughs> and let us know the good if someone bought it oh the if someone bought it, they should be kicked in the foot. Brain. Brain? No, you fucking they'll be dying. They wouldn't feel it. No, fuck, I tell ya. Some people, if that's fair income at two grand, that dude's tripping hardcore. Like, bad. Might be just trying his luck, because I fucking saw some Nintendo 64 carts on eBay. Yeah, they were probably eight grand. <laughs> weren't they? Yeah. But fuck, have you, yeah, do you see like shit that's just like way overpriced and shit out there, you know? Let us know. Were you the person that put the $2,000 ad on there? And if you were, what's the fucking, what's wrong with you? Yeah, fucking go see a specialist, man. You fucked up. Learn how to type. Well, you yeah. know what? What? If they were, were not trying to press the zero keys and they were asking two bucks for two games. Yeah, but how do you accidentally press zero three times? Um... But yeah, right, they wanted you two You can hold bucks. it down, so you only have to press it once, but for, like, three seconds. No. Yeah. But still, <laughs> that's fucked up. Yeah, two bucks is reasonable, you know. It's Look, and it's Gumtree. Two, two bucks would be a bargain. Yeah, because, and look, and it's Gumtree. Gumtree is a place where you're supposed to get bargains from, you know. People just selling shit fucking cheap, you know. No bidding on it, there's a price, fucking take it or leave it. Which you can still bargain with people on Gumtree mm. and get shit heaps cheaper. I do that, you know. Because you're a cheapo. I am a cheapo. <clears throat> I certainly am. Been um, been playing a bit of Smite with Retro Ranami. Oh, that's not all you've been playing. On the internet. Yeah. And played um, Payday 2. Had a free weekend on Steam. Oh, really? Yeah, that bankrupt game. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, it's fucking awesome. Played yeah. that with um, I'm Not a Turtle. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. Got on, had a few matches with him. That's really cool, that game. Yeah? Yeah. Were well, you robbing banks together and shit? Yeah, we robbed a bank. We smashed up a shopping centre. Oh, rad. And we we knocked over a... Um, Quickie Mart or something. Well, there was two shops and, and we, we like, split up and he robbed one shop. I don't know what it was. <laughs> and I robbed a cafe. <laughs> and we shot heaps of cops. Nice work. And the gunplay is really cool and the... Um, that the... The graphics and the lighting and stuff's really nice. Is it a first-person shooter? Yeah. 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 I'm so shit at those games. The cover looks cool. The dude's got like a fucking clown mask on and shit. Yeah, and I, I, I it was only it was like ten bucks. It was free to play. Yeah. For the for the weekend. Yeah. And on sale for ten bucks. Is that all ten bucks? Yeah. That's not an old game, man. It's yeah, it's pretty recent. Yeah. It came out this year. Yeah. And um. I just bought that fucking stomping land, so I couldn't afford to buy it. Uh, bummer. I wish I'd bought the bank robbing one instead of the dinosaurs. But you could have offered him favours for a copy. Who, Steam? Yeah. I'm sure Steam would appreciate your favours. <laughs> <laughs> Party favours? Yeah. 
You can juggle balls. In my fire. mouth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> On fire too. Yeah. Fuck it, eh? <laughs> so for anyone, please steam. Um, you must have the internet like I don't for a start. Yeah, Gav can't play. Yeah. <laughs> Not until but, it comes on Foxtel, then I'm playing it, man. Yeah. But it's better if Gav doesn't play because he's a fuckwit. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm not going to argue. But, um, yeah, drop us a comment and... Um, Let us know. Yeah, so we can we'll get a team going, get some games going in Smite. But look... Download it, it's free, free to play. What well, is the, the, Smite, and I also bought all the all the characters too. That cost me thirty bucks as well. For what? For Smite. Is that a game? Yeah. Oh. That's what we've been talking about for the last ten minutes. No, not ten minutes. We we're talking about like, Payday Gav. too. But Payday too. Yes. What did, What does Glenn Beck think about Payday too? Oh, it's probably teaching kids to rob to banks. Rob banks, yeah. And, and Cause, cause cafes. Now I know how to crack a safe, Gav. Oh, you learn on that game. Yeah, you walk up to the safe. Yeah. And you hold down the F key till a big drill appears out of nowhere. Oh, amazing. And then you've got to wait for two minutes until it drills, drills through the thing. Really? And then you've just got to hold off the cops and you, you get shot like a million times. Really? Yeah. And so you, you just press F and you... Uh, you you hold get... it down and then, yeah, and then a, a big drill appears out of thin air. Oh, what the fuck are we sitting around here doing this shit oh, for then? We could be hacking. Yeah, hacking could, and robbing we shit. We could hack the cameras off. Yeah, with the X button. Yeah, and then... Drill into it with the F button. Yeah. Take all the cash. Damn. Be out. Well, that's it. I'm going to fucking resign from work. I don't need to. Yeah. Fuck. We're going to be rich. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what else is good? Me. No, I said good. Um, me? No, you're not getting it, Gav. Why? Good. Yeah. You know what good means? Yeah. It's what? like the opposite of shit. Yeah. <laughs> Which is what you are. You're saying I'm shit. Yeah. Fuck you too. Everyone calls <laughs> me shit. <laughs> hey, if you hear it enough. <laughs> it must be true. You start to believe it. Yeah, oh yeah, I can't deny it. Um, I am shit. That might be it. Oh, you know what else? What? Listening, because I listen to the podcast before I post them. You do? After I fucked up that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good thing to do that then, Eddie. <laughs> but everyone, I say, uh, oh, that's probably going to be a short one. Yeah. Every time I say that, it's it's like an hour, ten minutes. Oh, really? Yeah, so I'm going to say this is probably going to be a short one. And you mean it? Probably. Oh, I forgot we've got the skit at the start. Yeah. And then we've got the sound check thing that we did that was funny. Yeah. That's coming after. Yeah. So it might be a long one. Probably will be. You never know, but... Um, we're gonna go by. Peace out. I know you talk. Who? Um, Ryan. Oh, so you actually know my name? You can. Yeah, it's <laughs> fuckface. Ryan. <laughs> Your name's Ryan. Buddy, double R, mate. R two. Ah, fucking fucking phone. <laughs>